So Nasomato is a brand that I discovered many years ago, over a decade ago. As a matter of fact, back in 2011 or 2012 is when I discovered Duro, which is one of my favorite fragrances from the brand. In today's Seth Lebon contributor video, we're gonna be going over this co-curated list between myself and Michelin Kamen. These are the three Nasomato fragrances that you should be wearing. These are all really, really wonderful. One in this list actually grew on me recently. I'm so excited to talk to you about these three fragrances and also let you in on a very special giveaway opportunity. So make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these three Nasomato fragrances, of course this is an Italian brand, the perfumer is Alessandro Gottieri. I'm going to tell you what I love about these fragrances, why I think you should have them in your collection, so on and so forth. I'll also tell you about the special giveaway, but I want to start the video off by saying that if you like fragrance videos on YouTube, please hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. So. If you're interested in purchasing any of these fragrances, you may do so at twistedlily.com. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. These are fragrances from my personal collection. I'm not getting paid anything from this video, but I am gonna leave the links down below if you are interested in checking out Nasomato here in the States. And of course they have a really wide variety of different fragrances. If you wanna participate for your chance to win a bottle, all you have to do is shoot on over to cephalabon.com going to be the first link down below in the description box. After you've read through the article and have become a registered reader, just drop a comment on the article and that's all you need to do. Best of luck everybody. The winner will be announced only on cephalabon.com, not on this channel, okay? So just a few things to keep in mind there. Look, Nasomato is an amazing house. They have Narcotic Venus, which is my wife's favorite, Absinthe, Hindu Grass, which is a beautiful patchouli fragrance. They have so many other fragrances. And of course, an honorable mention has to go to Black Afghano. Black Afghano is one of the most talked about fragrances, the longevity. It has this dark coffee, earthy, woodsy, hemp kind of a vibe. And it's a beautiful fragrance. I own a bottle of it. I was having a hard time locating it, but certainly that deserves an honorable mention. So many other brands have kind of put out their own twist of it. And of course, there's also another one that has been heavily twisted, if I can be honest, and it's Baraonda, this beautiful, boozy, alcoholic, resinous type of a fragrance. I truly love it with some fruity accents in there as well. The interesting thing about Nasomato is they never disclose note breakdowns. Not on the website, not on other websites, it's all mere conjecture and speculation. The three Nasomato fragrances you need to familiarize yourself with. And of course, the new one is called Sadonazo. I did a review on that one, so definitely go ahead and check that out here on YouTube. But the first one I wanna talk about is actually Fantomas. Fantomas is a really, really special fragrance. This fragrance smells like fruits, smells like melon or some kind of a cantaloupe, melon, some kind of a fruit. And it also has like this foggy atmospheric vibe to it. It's a really interesting fragrance. And the other thing that you should know about Nasomato as a brand is their fragrances happen to last for a very, very, very long time. Extract the perfume concentration, all of their fragrances. Fantomas is dark, it's beautifully mysterious, it's an enigmatic fragrance, and it's not very challenging. There are some Nasomato fragrances that can be a bit challenging. As a matter of fact, one of the fragrances in this list I think could be a bit challenging, especially for people that are not used to this particular note breakdown. Let's just go ahead and dive into it. It's actually Duro. Duro was actually one of the first fragrance videos that I ever published here on YouTube. It might have been my third review ever. <laughs> so I reviewed it back in 2012 in June or July or something like that. And I love this stuff. It's agarwood, it's spices, it's leather, it's woodsy, it's dark, it's bold, it's very charismatic. It also has a mysterious quality about it. And this is one of the greatest fragrances I've ever tried. I love Duro so much. I mean, if there are 
fragrances that anybody should know from the Nasomato brand at this point. It seems like everybody knows Black Afghano, everybody knows Baraonda. So I wanted to focus it on some other fragrances from the brand in this co-curated list that I think you're absolutely going to love. Duro, the woods, the spices, the leather, this stuff is amazing. Now, here is the gem from the brand. There's just something about this fragrance that I truly, truly love. I have worn it on many winter events throughout the years where, you know, I'm attending a formal event, suit and tie, you wanna smell good. This next fragrance is sexy, it's charismatic, it's passionate, it's alluring, it's decadent, it's sultry, it has seductive qualities to it. It is such an amazing fragrance. The fragrance that I'm talking about is called Pardon or Pardon. This fragrance is chocolate and magnolia. Of course, like I said, the brand does not disclose note breakdowns, but this is the conjecture here. It's magnolia, it's chocolate, it's patchouli, it's sweet, it's earthy, it has these beautiful, beautiful tendencies to it. And it's also one of the more versatile fragrances. It has a mass appeal factor, it's easy to get along with, it's different. You're not gonna find anything on the market that smells similar to it. And just two or three sprays are going to last you the entire day, especially if you spray on clothing. Pardon is one of the most special fragrances that I personally own in my collection. It's one that I have owned now for about a decade. I love the brand so much. And like I said, I have a bunch. I'm actually looking over my shoulder here. I have Hindu grass, absinthe. I have um, Blamage, Sadonazo. I don't have China White. And there was another one, I think, with musk in it. There are a couple from the brand that I don't own, but truth be told, these are three Nasomato fragrances that everybody needs to try. They're very special. They all have a very interesting personality about them. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Look, you have the opportunity to win a bottle courtesy of Twisted Lily. I'm gonna leave their information down below, so make sure to check them out and also participate in the giveaway by visiting cephalobomb.com, dropping a comment on the article after you've become a registered breeder. It's a really, really simple process and you just gotta become registered once. And then every single Thursday, you get to enter a giveaway. And so many of my subscribers have come back here and said how they won giveaways from Cephalobon and they're really happy with their spoils. In any case, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a comment down below. What is your favorite Nasomato fragrance? Thank you for staying tuned until the very end. If you took something of value from today's episode, hit subscribe, hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.